It's a liberation of energy. You change your frequency, you change your energy, you change your life. When we are expanding our consciousness and we are working with our highest self, becoming aware of who we are, the answers are within. The integration is really where you see the transformation because we can't just jump from ceremony to ceremony and expect the things to change in physical form. Someone who really does have desire for community, this becomes something that allows you to have courage and evolve in that sense. All right, Christy Myers back again on the Soul Seeker podcast. The first time we had you on was back on episode 138. Now we're on episode 180. So over 40 episodes later, and I don't know, it was sometime last year or something, but I'm so stoked to have you back. Welcome to the podcast. Christy, could you tell us a little bit about what you do with Flow Integrative Ketamine and the power of the medicine that is ketamine? Absolutely, Sam. It's nice to be back and, of course, to cultivate a friendship that allows me to come back. We are working with this medicine in a psychedelic wellness arena, meaning that we allow our clients or we provide an arena for our clients to experience themselves. Whether you are suffering from or experiencing symptoms from a lot of the mental health that is being diagnosed and categorized right now in this time space. And we're allowing you to experience the essence of your consciousness using ketamine as a catalyst. So what does that mean? It means that you're becoming aware of your inner dialogue. You're becoming aware of your unconsciousness as well as your essence in consciousness. <laughs> so there's, a, there's a lot of consciousness talk, right? What does it mean? It means that if we have had diagnoses of anxiety, depression, OCD, or whatever it may be, we've created a relationship around it. And this medicine allows us to separate from that network or that relationship. And as we separate from it, we become aware of it from a higher state of consciousness, which is where we talk about becoming aware that you're aware. And so as you leave and separate from your physical body, you're also separating from that network that was created around a traumatic event where perhaps it was sustained and endured trauma. And as you come into these higher states of consciousness, you're becoming aware of it. And in doing that, it allows you to, to shift the narrative. You realize that trauma has happened to you and not because of you. It also allows you to see yourself by yourself. This medicine is inward in the journey and the exploration. And, and the more you are intimate with who you are, the more you can become more rounded. You can soften. You can start to shape the edges that we created in survival in transitioning into thrival. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Could you tell us a little bit about who this would be for and what the experience is kind of like, and especially the integration after the experience? Like it, who would be called to ketamine like in this type of ceremonial setting? And also, what is the best recommend? Mm, let, me, let me pause there. Let's stay with the first question. Who would be called to ketamine and then we'll, the ketamine ceremony therapeutic approach? Yeah, really, it's anyone who has attempted and tried other modalities, whether that's depressants, whether that's anti-anxiety, whether that's traditional talk therapy. You've tried modalities to help you move through past experiences for for some, the, we've reached a ceiling or a max of what we've been able to do, which again comes down to consciousness. If, if we're at a limitation, this medicine allows for new access points in your own mind 
to be able to problem solve and to create new avenues of a means to an end. It allows you to also become aware of your nervous system. And so anybody who is dysregulated, again, coming back to initial impacts of trauma in childhood, mostly, and what that's done over time, generalized anxiety, major depression, depression, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, the list goes on and on as far as who this or this medicine can work for. But most importantly is, is that you, you want to be able to work with the medicine. In all fairness, this medicine is a catalyst into our own intelligence, which means we have to be ready to evolve in this time space. The medicine is not going to do the work for you. It's going to give you an access point to start showing up differently in your life. Absolutely. And that's why integration is 90% of the work. You know, it's interesting. A lot of spiritual and medicine communities, 90% of the talk is about the medicines. But as you know, the integration is really where you see the transformation because we can't just jump from ceremony to ceremony and expect to things to actually change in physical form. I do have a question for you, though, because you mentioned fibromyalgia, and I've recently heard that term. And my understanding is that it's something with the body where the muscles are shorter. Could you speak to that a little bit, exactly what that is and how ketamine helps with that? Yeah, fibromyalgia, it's an unknown etiology, meaning it's a, it's a blanketed term that's given to where when we, we don't know the causality. And it can present in so many different ways, but it is, it's chronic pain. It once was called chronic fatigue. If we want to go back and track it to some points of origin or just our awareness of it in the early 90s. And perhaps it was earlier than that as well, too. We just didn't have it as common. It ties hand in hand with autoimmunity as well. And this is where Bessel van der Kirk's work and the body keeps the score becomes really important for a conceptual piece to this. As we compartmentalize trauma and as we experience physical impacts of trauma, and not just from perhaps physical or abusive relationships, it's also in impact of emotions that have occurred over our lifetime. Our body can become a relic of the past. And so if we have stagnated or compartmentalized trauma, unresolved trauma, over time, it will start to compound, and that compounding results in what we classify as chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia. And so it has a direct correlation to the psychology as well as to the physiology and the biology of the human. It's the gene expression. And because of the work we're doing in epigenetics, not we as in flow, we as in humanity, a lot of this information is by simply studying the work of other men and to present it in a new con conceptual and contextual means, which is through psychedelics, expanding our consciousness to awareness of things we've known to be true and advancing our intelligence and our species. And so when we work with this medicine, we become aware of our body from a, a different state of awareness. And in that, the byproduct is that we're transcending the unconscious programs that are ruminating in the background that perhaps we weren't aware of, or at the time, we kind of put them off to the side so that we could continue to survive. Okay. And over time, those compound presents as autoimmunity, it presents as fibromyalgia, and all these multiplicities, depending on how you, the human being, carry your trauma, how you work with it or what you've done in the sense of just being aware of it. A lot of times the impact is so immense when we're young and because we made it through, you hear a lot of people reference this, at least I know from my generation, my parents were born in the 50s. And it, it seems as if we minimize trauma because it could be worse, right? When I was a kid, I had to walk to school barefoot, uphill, both ways. Like we're, we're minimizing trauma as if it could have been worse rather than just acknowledging that it existed. 
which also keeps us kind of suffering in silence. And so it presents in lots of different ways. And fibromyalgia seems to be a very common presentation for that trauma that's been trapped within. So ketamine, drawing the connection with ketamine then, so it's not a magic lozenge. It's not a magic solution. Nothing really is, but you have this experience with lozenges with ketamine and you have this experience. And if you have a pain in the body, as you mentioned, like the book body keeps the score right in the emotional, spiritual part of ailments within the body, what actually happens to come on the other side and heal the body in working with ketamine in this way? Yeah, it, it's a liberation of energy. And this is where, if we were to defer to our great teachers, this is where Dr. Joe Dispenza's work comes in exponentially. You change your frequency, you change your energy, you change your life. And so as we move through this medicine and our consciousness expands from a hypervigilant and hyperdiligent foci, and we broaden our awareness, we open our perception, we then give ourselves a room to breathe, to be able to experience ourselves in a newfound awareness of our environment. Again, a, a great phrase is you can't see the forest when you're smashed against the tree. This medicine gives us perception. It gives us more awareness to where we're not just enmeshed in survival, which can just, it's dragging the physical body through all of our realities. And those realities are everything we've ever thought of, put into motion, fantasized, ruminated, contemplated about. All time exists all the time. And so if we have generations of suffering, generations of trauma, and again, going to Bruce Lipton and his work, we can see epigenetically that we can track this back 14 generations. For example, us right now in this time space, I existed five months inside of my grandma. Right, yeah. <laughs> Which was an impact vibrationally, frequency, and psychologically through the words that we speak. And so for some, we're clearing trauma that has been prevalent in our lineage for decades, if not centuries. Yeah, that's incredible, all with the power of going within and utilizing medicines like ketamine. So yeah. now to kind of bring this full circle and what we're here to talk about today is the launch of our partnership, which I'm so excited about because on February 22nd, 2022, last year, I published my book, Soul Life Balance, a guide to igniting and integrating spiritual awakenings. And I'm someone who has danced with many, many medicines, ayahuasca, bufo, the toad, right? The ketamine, of course, psilocybin ceremonies, all these different things. And one of the things I noticed when my world was first opened up by dancing with what by sitting with ayahuasca back in April of 2019 was that it was really earth shattering. It was very complicated on how to make sense of this physical form, right? And what I also noticed was most of, at least for me, most of my relationships weren't with people that were on that trajectory. I kind of went a different way. So I didn't really have community either. And I was, I had to uproot my entire life and it's all for the better fast forwarding four years later, right? And three years later after that, writing the book, I will say though, there was a point in my journey where I stopped really doing the work in terms of integration. And I started to jump from ceremony to medicine ceremony to ceremony to look for answers rather than doing proper integration. And when I found that in myself and I saw that's kind of a theme in the community, that's when I personally became so passionate about the message of integration. So having said that, this February 2000, what is it? This February 22nd, 2023, we're going to be launching the, the combination, the partnership between Flow Integrative Ketamine and my new program, Structured Flow, which is all, it's an integration program. It's a 12-week program 
where we different phases and and weekly themes to support you on your integration with medicine ceremonies. And there's so much more to talk about that in terms of my program. We have a beta going on right now and it's producing fantastic results. I'm so humbled by that. And now with the collaboration of using utilizing my program in conjunction with what you do at Flow Integrative Ketamine, I'd love for you to kind of just paint a picture for the listeners of what you'll be offering in this program in terms of ketamine use with therapists. Yeah, absolutely. And traditionally, our work comes in intravenously. So it's an in-person modality is how we initially impact with this medicine. We've also recognized that there is a population which is where this program becomes absolutely incredible for those who are ready to work with the medicine at home. And what that means is, like you mentioned earlier, that when we've been doing the work and when we've been doing the work and we've been integrating and perhaps we've been working with other modalities such as psilocybin or ayahuasca or MDMA or whatever it may be, but we've also, we need a new access point or we need more guidance in there. We're The thing that comes up for me often, and I get asked this question more times than not, is what do I think about lozenges at home? And it's similar to that of the variable is the human being. And so what we're cultivating in in this is someone who has experienced their nervous system, someone who is ready to create their future for and structured flow is exactly that. And what do I mean? I mean that when we are expanding our consciousness and we are working with our highest self, becoming aware of who we are, the answers are within. Each person is capable and competent, but it's through the navigation of our story and our relationship to that story and how we're transitioning our future forward using our past as wisdom. And this medicine allows for you to see yourself from that perspective. And the journey to get there is something that is very inward and intimate so that you know where to soften or how to show up. And that's where this program becomes really important because now to be able to work with this medicine at home will then give you structured flow to create new habits, new awareness, more receptivity in your neural circuitry, allowing you to conceptualize the material at hand. Uh, If we're struggling in our day-to-day, it's sometimes challenging to think about doing something new. And by working with this medicine guided at home would allow you then a vantage point or a new access for information, which then that's where your work would present in phases, digestible information of how to cultivate a better version of yourself. Amazing. I'm I'm so excited for this launch. And, you know, at the time of this podcast going live, it's at the end of January. We're going to get started in about 22 days, whatever it is exactly February 22nd. So if you're someone listening that is really your your curiosity is peaked, you're feeling called to this at all. I'd invite you to go to the show notes we have where we have a link where you can apply because this is an application process and Christy's team will go through it to make sure that it's a good fit, everything else. She's got her therapist that will be guiding these ceremonies virtually once a week. And then along with my program that consists of a digital community where we're going to really hold each other accountable and check in with each other once a day, at least once a day, daily, every day. Right now in my group, we have people showing them doing selfie style videos, vulnerable shares, audio text messages. It's not like checking in like, hey, how are you doing today? Like we're actually getting deep on a daily basis. And I've seen it firsthand in the past four years of my own integration, being a part of groups that do interact that way how powerful it is. Now, in addition to that, we have a weekly call that is an integration call to sharing circle and sometimes bringing in guest speakers that help with different topics as it relates to integration. In addition to that, we I'm leading some pre-recorded guided visualizations, meditations, even breath work journeys. So everything in this program with structured flow 
is giving you the tools to actually integrate your experience so that you can use this as a catalyst for growth. And that's that's the gist of it. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Christy? Yeah, just some clicks on our end. The participants or the candidates in this will go through a series of entry points, meaning you'll be cleared medically. So what we're asking is for participants that have no significant medical history that are relatively healthy. That allows you to experience and explore this medicine at home with safeguards in play. And then the other side is the psychological component. Someone who perhaps does have social anxiety and really does have desire for community. And this becomes something that allows you to have courage to participate in a virtual arena and evolve in that sense. And so we're looking at it from two standpoints. Well, three standpoints. One is a commitment to the mission, the medicine, and structured integration with flow. The other side is medically, you have no significant history. And of course, if you have any questions, we'd be more than happy to answer that. And then the other is the dynamics of your mental state. As someone who is ready and has the emotional intelligence of how to intentionally use this medicine at home with structure. And so what we will provide is 12 guided group medicine sessions virtually that are two hours in length. In addition to that, we would have three check-ins along the line. So we would dose appropriate the medicine, giving you access and then one-on-one time to evaluate your dose and your progress so that we can show up for you as you embark in your next phase. Again, Sam has put together three phases and those three phases is what we will also honor in how we will either increase, repeat, or work with the medicine and the dosing, which allows you to expand your consciousness at the rate of your awareness. I love it. I am so excited. I'm I'm just so lit up and you know, I was telling my partner, Jamie McFay, an amazing woman yesterday after I got off the phone with you a chat about this, like when you and I first connected back whenever it was last year and we had the podcast, like we, we had this energetic exchange where it was like, it, we're going to be doing something. We didn't yeah. know what it was. And it, it's just so much alignment here. You know, when I had this download to do this program because this was something that I've envisioned for a few years and I just had to do my own work in terms of like, you know, I went to Costa Rica for 60 days, obtained my yoga teacher certification. I've been part of over 300 medicine ceremonies. Now I teach yoga weekly, lead men's groups twice a month and even a breathwork facilitator, so many different things. And like at the time when I first had this vision of doing this type of program, structured flow integration program, Mm -hmm. I, not that there was imposter syndrome, I just didn't have the tools. I didn't do my own work. And now it just organically happened when I reached out to you and tell you what I was working on. And, you know, I didn't even think about how my name of the program is structured flow and your company name is flow integrative, right? Integrative integration, right? All of it. So there's just so much synchronicity. And I know you're looking for something like this to offer your clients as well. So this is just the beginning. You know, we'll definitely be doing this again. This is going to be the beta for this launch. And Mm -hmm. we both are very confident about this. So if you are someone listening and this resonates with you, definitely reach out. Don't let it be a situation where you are thinking like, well, what if, whatever, at least do the due diligence to reach out, apply and see if it's something that might be a fit for you, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And we can put some notes together as well, too, for price and structure and the entry points so that we are also very transparent in the process, which then allows you to do your due diligence of the cost effectiveness to be able to truly work over these 12 weeks with this medicine and the structure of flow. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Christy. I'm excited to dive into this work with you. I'm so stoked for you now that back in the fall, you launched your second physical location in Northern California. You have another in Southern California. We didn't even talk about your clinics, but 
I'll put the link to your website in the show notes. So if you're someone listening that's in California or you want to make a trip out to California to experience this in person, then you can definitely check out Christy's website. Thank you guys for listening. And, you know, this is all about how we're doing this work to collectively together, right? You know, you don't have to do it alone. So thank you so much. And that's it for this one. I appreciate it, Sam. Thank you.